Hey everybody, it's Tara. Today I am so excited to be announcing the very first campaign of the Read D&D Athon. The Read D&D Athon is based on Dungeons and Dragons or D&D, but you don't have to play D&D or really know anything about it to participate. And if you don't know anything about it, let me catch you up a little bit. D&D is a tabletop fantasy role-playing game in which you create a character based on three elements, race, class, and alignment. And then you play that character through quests and battles and epic adventures. For this readathon, you'll be creating your own character based on those same three elements by reading books that relate to them, but more on that in a bit. The readathon runs from February 1st to the 14th, and I will be co hosting with my good friend Kaylee from the Enchanted Library. I will link her channel up there and down below as well. We'll both be sharing our TVRs and wrap ups on our own channels, and we'll be on Twitter as well, running sprints and chatting with you guys using the hashtag ReDDathon. At least I'm gonna try to do all that, but there is a chance that I'll I'll have a new player joining my family's party by the end of the readathon, in which case Kaylee will take over as your sole readathon master. And now, on to the fun stuff, creating your character. To create a character, you have to read one book from each of the three categories, race, class, and alignment. There are 10 prompts for races, 10 prompts for classes, and 9 prompts for alignments. For races, kicking things off, we have Dragonborn. Read a book featuring dragons. Dwarf, read a book set underground. Elf, read a high fantasy book. Gnome, read a fun, feel-good book. Goblin, read a book featuring thieves or a heist. Goliath, read a book that's over 600 pages. Halfling, read a book that's under 200 pages. Human, read a non-fiction book. Orc, read a book featuring a war or warriors. And Warforged, read a science fiction book. For classes, we have Barbarian, read a book that features something that angers you. Bard, read a book that has a movie or television adaptation. Cleric, read a book featuring gods or religion. Druid, read a book featuring shapeshifting. Fighter, read a controversial book. Paladin, read a book about a battle between good and evil. Ranger, read a book featuring hunters. Rogue, read a book featuring assassins. Warlock, read a book featuring the supernatural or paranormal. And Wizard, read a book featuring a school of magic or other special abilities. And lastly, Alignments. For lawful good, read a book featuring angels. For neutral good, read a book featuring superheroes. For chaotic good, read a book whose protagonist is a rebel or part of a revolution. Lawful neutral, read a book whose protagonist is a law enforcer or government agent. True neutral, read a book you know nothing about. Chaotic Neutral, read a book that someone else chooses for you. Lawful Evil, read a book featuring an oppressive government. Neutral Evil, read a book from the villain's point of view.
and chaotic evil. Read any book you want, but at the start of every chapter, roll a d10 and skip the chapter if you roll a 1. So for example, if you want your character to be a chaotic, neutral elf wizard, you'd have to read one book that someone else chooses for you, one high fantasy book, and one book featuring a school of magic or special abilities. Or you can do it the other way around and pick your prompts based on the books that you want to read. That way you might get some really bizarre combinations like a lawful good, goliath rogue, or a true neutral gnome barbarian. Create as many characters for the readathon that you want, but they all have to have a race, class, and alignment, so you're reading books in sets of three. And of course, all the prompts will be listed down below for you too. But that's not all. Aside from all the prompts, we have some bonus challenges for you guys as well. Bonus challenge number one, instead of choosing your prompts, you use a d10 to roll your character. Or if you're not a D&D geek and you don't have a d10, you can just use a random number generator. I will link one down below for you. Since there are only nine alignments, if you roll a 10, just roll again. So for example, I'm gonna roll up a character for you right now. First, I get a one for race. That is dragonborn. I have to read a book featuring a dragon. For my class, I got nine. Warlock, read a book featuring the supernatural or paranormal. And for my alignment, come on, chaotic evil, eight. That is neutral evil, read a book from the villain's point of view. Bonus challenge number two, build a party of at least three characters without repeating any prompts. So you'll be reading nine books with nine different prompts. And bonus challenge number three, give your characters a name based on the titles of the books that you built them with. So for example, if I were to read Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor, A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, and Stars Above by Marissa Meyer, my character's name might be something like Muse of Darker Stars or a shade of nightmares above. But wait, there's still more! Leveling up! In D&D you earn experience points as you play, but here you will earn experience points as you read. Each book you read earns you 50 XP, so a full character will earn you a total of 150 XP. Each bonus challenge also earns you 50 XP, so completing all three will again get you 150 XP. You start the readathon at level 1 and you level up for every 150 XP that you earn. So create a single character will get you to level 2, but if you create a full party of 3 characters and do all the bonus challenges, you're gonna get all the way up to level 5. And what does your level mean? Nothing right now, but it will come into play with later campaigns of the readathon. This readathon has been a long time coming and I'm so excited that it's finally here, so I really hope that you guys will join us for the first campaign of the Read Deadathon between February 1st and 14th. If you are, please leave a comment down below with links to your TBRs and read and chat with us on Twitter with the hashtag ReadDDathon. Look out for my TBR on February 1st and my wrap up a couple of weeks later if I don't have a baby by then. And be sure to subscribe to my channel and Kaylee's channel so you don't miss anything related to the Read d athon Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, happy reading and happy adventuring. Bye-bye.